Good luck getting in now, you little shit. Do we have enough water for a long shower or does it have to be quick? It's sloshing. Oh gosh. So I have an entire trash bag worth of things. A bag of raw chicken spilled inside my fridge. Welcome to my dungeon. I think my life just flashed before my eyes. Good morning. I woke up this morning to an issue. My black tank is completely full, which I'm not sure how that happened because last night it was not full and then this morning it is. Unless a ghost went in there and used the bathroom, tis the season, I guess. I don't really know what happened last night. If you don't know, black tank is sewage. Um, and my shower water. So this is a joy, first thing in the morning. I'm happy to be waking up to this, but we gotta get it taken care of. Now that my camper is off my truck, I'm unable to take it to town in order to dump the tank, so I had to come up with a different solution. I just take the hose, find a random hole, stick it in there, and let it rip. I'm just kidding. Welcome to my creepy shed. Now this bad boy, I don't want to touch it, is an external tank. It was left here by the previous owners. It could be used as a black or a gray tank. They said that they only used it for gray water, which is sink water, not poop water. Big difference. And right now it's kind of an emergency, so I'm gonna take them up on that and use the free tool that I have accessible. Cue mission music. That's definitely not it, okay. I'm not taking any chances. It's sloshing. Oh gosh. And here we go. Yum. So this part just hooks up to my little hose. Austin, could you help me? Oh, it squirt. What a rip. Here we go. So, how's it going? Now I gotta go put this in the back of my truck and then take it to town, but I'm doing that tomorrow. If it wasn't hard already, I have to lift this thing up off the ground. Uh, uh. I think my life just flashed before my eyes. I'm done. That was gross. I'm good. Now that both my tanks are empty, that should last me about two weeks if I'm lucky. I know that's absolutely disgusting and horrifying, gross, all the bad words, but it is just the reality, okay? You become very self-sufficient. But now that I've gotten that done, I've kind of like gotten in the mood to do gross chores. Not in the mood, that's weird, but I already feel gross and I'm gonna have to take a shower anyway later. I'm gonna do some more gross chores in the meantime, just to get it done. I'm only recording this for a second because it's disgusting. A bag of raw chicken spilled inside my fridge. That's lovely. This is truly... One of the nastiest things I think I've ever done. Even beats the black tank. Now it looks 10 times better and I can put my food back in. Yay. Don't have to worry about catching salmonella. Actually, I wish it was that simple. I have to wash everything that was in the fridge because it has chicken juice on it as well. Welcome to my dungeon. This thing is weirdly difficult to open. Open! That's why I'm out of breath. Other than that, I use this thing for many things. Keep our dog food in here, extra water jugs, and most importantly, dirty laundry. I just found Austin's truck keys in the laundry. We've been looking for these for a minute. I used to keep my laundry on the outside of my camper, kind of in the wheel well area, but now that my truck's gone, I don't have that space anymore. And also when I would keep my clothes in my camper, spiders would get into them. And it was so bad that whenever I would go to the laundromat, I would just dump my clothes in there. And then once it got out of the washer, I'd find just at least three or four dead spiders in my clothes. So now it's in the shipping container. Now this is the part that I've really been dreading. Like a lot. As you guys know, I've been having a rat issue and I'm just fed up at this point. I'm pissed. Last straw was this. A giant rat got into this bag of food, AKA Peaches, my dog. The reason I have this under here is because the mice had taken over my cabinets in here. I've since gotten rid of them, but long story short, I read online that the diseases in rat poop can live for up to two weeks without the rat being present. I was not ready to test my odds, so I've given it two weeks for everything in there to die. Yes, I have not touched these cabinets in two weeks. It's been kind of depressing considering that's half my storage. We're gonna be deep cleaning this. I'm scared. Really not that bad. Okay. Um, the reason I know I don't have mice anymore is because I have this trap sitting here. It's been sitting here for two weeks with peanut butter on it. And I know they cannot resist that. But I swear to God, if I see one while I'm cleaning, I'll flip out. I need it to snap so it doesn't snap on me later without me realizing. Okay, why is it not snapping? Just snap. Oh gosh. Okay. I'm kind of insecure about showing this online because... I mean, it's disgusting, but also at the same time, this does not speak to my cleanliness. It's just the fact that I live in the middle of a field and a camper, and I happen to have food in here. 
God forbid. It's kind of hard to get all the way back there because there's so many nooks and crannies. So I have an entire trash bag worth of things to throw away. That's how much was ruined by mice. Since my floors are so tiny, this is how I mop them. Whoops. And then you clean it up. It does wonders. Believe it or not, I have some beef with my floor. This board right here keeps popping out of place. So I have to try and scooch it back, which is almost impossible. It's kind of had to hit it a bunch of times. Okay, it's not doing anything. I want to show you guys the new shower setup that Austin put together. Keep in mind, I'm very proud that he made this, it'd be nice. Second, he did this in one morning, it took him maybe five minutes, and it was also all made from a bunch of scrap wood that was on the property from previous owners. He did what he could with what we had, okay? So don't be judging. Ooh. Ah, uh, what? Don't judge. I told them, I gave them the backstory. Do we have enough water for a long shower? Does it have to be quick? You got plenty of water. Okay, good. Uh, please, no wind. That's all that I ask. No wind, and we'll be good. It's kind of warm, a little bit. That was not as terrible as it has been in the past, so I'll take it. But it was really cold. Guess who has a mouse? Me. Um, I found mouse poop all over my counter this morning. That's why everything is just a big cluster. I am cleaning everything. They decided to poop all over my fruit and stuff, so that's really nice. Since I already cleaned it up, you can't really tell, but here's some proof. In my ice cream mold, do you see all that poop? That's from one night. Looks like it might be more than one mouse. I'm not sure, but I'm not happy considering I spent all day cleaning. I had to wrap up my entire truck. Good luck getting in now, you little shit. I had to put the camper back on top of the truck, and this is the best way to keep all the mice out. So that if mice try coming up, they can't. It just keeps going under. I know it looks ridiculous, but it works. What we did was drive on top of the tarp, it was just laying on the ground flat, and then wrapped it up into it. We originally tried duct taping, but that did not work, so Austin got some rope and put it through all the little holes. You can see in here, see the entire tires in there. I'm leaving in a few days, so this is just temporary for now. Hi friends, one quick interruption for today's sponsor. I know, I haven't had a sponsor in about a year, maybe? Let me introduce you to Surfshark. Yeah, we've been here. Surfshark has had my back for a long time and also I love their product. Surfshark is a virtual private network that allows you to trick your device, aka phone, computer, laptop, into thinking you are anywhere in the world. And I mean anywhere because they have over 3,200 servers in over 100 countries. I'm sure you're wondering how exactly does this help me? Like I said, Surfshark allows you to trick your device into thinking you are anywhere in the world. And this comes in handy whenever you're trying to book stuff online. Because, if you didn't know, websites have a very sneaky tag and they're able to track your location while you're booking and then they can change the prices accordingly. For example, let's just say that I'm in the UK looking for a hotel online. While looking, I notice that the prices are pretty high. Literally, all that I have to do is go onto Surfshark, change my country to the US, and then I can watch the prices fall. The reason that this works is basically supply and demand. If there's more people in a country looking for something, the prices are gonna be higher. But if you're on the other side of the planet, they're gonna lower the prices to entice you. It's kinda crazy how that works, right? So that's great and all, but that is not where the perks stop. Surfshark will protect your online identity by making you anonymous to whatever public Wi-Fi or private Wi-Fi you're connected to. Because believe it or not, every time you're connecting to public Wi-Fi, anyone else connected to that Wi-Fi can get access to your information. But if you just have Surfshark running in the background of your device, it basically puts up a wall between you and anyone else trying to get your information, which is pretty awesome because it's so easy and simple. To get an exclusive Surfshark deal, make sure to click the link in my description and enter code Ethan Travels at checkout, and you will get an extra four months free. It used to be three months free, now it's four months free, which is insane. And then on top of this awesome offer, they give you a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you don't like the product or don't use it as much as you thought you would, you can always get your money back. I've been using them for about two years now and have never had an issue and have thoroughly enjoyed their product. That's why I'm happy to work with them. Anyway, thank you so much to Surfshark for sponsoring this video and for providing everyone with online security. And also thank you guys for listening to the advertisements. It's very important to my channel. Yeah, give Surfshark a try. Peace, back to the video. Last but not least, I gotta get up on the roof and I will not lock myself out this time. I forgot I used all my spray on the, the mouse stuff, so. Use a water bottle. We get a lot of dust storms here, so it covers the solar panels in a bunch of dust, which makes it hard to get solar power, so I have to clean them off. Okay, back inside. 
Hey everybody! This is the end of the video, abrupt as always. I know that this video might have been all over the place and also my property is not as established as I would like it to be. Uh, for example, the shower. Hi. As of now until next spring, I'm not trying to put any money into this property that I don't have to. So I'm trying to reuse what is free here. And that's why things look a little bit janky, but at the same time, guess who's saving money? Me. I'm used to living in a camper anyway, so it's really not that much of a difference. Shower in that little tiny bathroom or showering in a wood shack same thing but don't be thinking that this is my permanent setup i definitely want something way nicer but it's just gonna have to wait a little bit but before i go i just wanted to remind you guys that if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment and subscribe doing all of those things are free ways that you can help my channel out what it does is that it basically shows the algorithm that you enjoyed the video and then the algorithm will push the video to more people so quite literally it helps my channel out if you can't think of a comment to leave just leave a heart emoji in the comments easy enough. Also, I just want to say a big thank you to you guys. In my last video, I mentioned that my new goal was 140,000 subscribers, and you guys blew it out of the water. I'm well past that. I think I'm at like 141, 142 at this point. Uh, so thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate you guys getting me to that point. And my next goal is going to be 150, so if you haven't subscribed and you would like to join, please do so. It would be a great help. And quickly before I go, I just want to say a big thank you to everybody who supports the channel on Patreon. Thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. Because of you, I'm able to continue making content and show you all of the beautiful places that the world has to offer, but mostly the U.S. for right now. And an extra special thank you goes to Dan Mensmoyer, Ronnie Joseph, Stefan Roshanek, Banshee, Caesar Osorio, Jay Redden, Mark Lipman, Rob Swan, Scott Krutz, Chris Fortin, Brian Butterfield, MWP200, Scott Sweaters, and Britt Saunders. Once again, thank you guys so very much. I really appreciate it. If you would like to join, all the information will be in the description along with other ways that you can support my channel if you would like. I also have an OnlyFans and I also have Instagram. On Instagram, I post almost every single day. So if you kind of want to see more of my day-to-day -day life, that would be a great place to check me out. What else? Oh, shit. And last but not least, I would like to give a shout out to the Cancer Research Institute. We've been working with them for a long time now. The reason I'm working with them is because my best friend Millie passed away about a year and a half ago due to cancer. So I just wanted to do something in her memory. So I figured that this would be a great organization to work with. Another reason that they're a great organization is because they're trying to train the immune system to attack cancer at its source, which would be really great. So I can just zap it when it shows up rather than getting progressive and having to go through all these rounds of chemo and stuff. So I personally think what they're trying to do is a great cause to support. So if you would like to, I'll leave that linked in the description as well. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You can send $1 and that would help a ton. But anyway, I think that that is all that I have to say. Pretty sure. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. Um, I wasn't really planning on having a tour day, but it ended up being that. But I'm glad I have all that stuff out of the way. Peace. I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I love you. Like, comment, do all the good things. Bye-bye.